Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Community Kitchen. I'm your host, Amy. So today we're going to make uh, chickpea masala, and we're going to serve it with rice. And before we start, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory of Lely today, and we are very honored to be here today. Okay, so let's look at the ingredients. Um, so I have here um, onion and uh, tomato paste. I have used two medium onions and three medium tomatoes for it. I'm going to cook the recipe in olive oil. You can use any oil that you have at home or even butter is fine. Um, here we got one bunch of cilantro, uh, two tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste, two green chilies, uh, four cloves, uh, cumin seeds, uh, one bay leaf. For dry spices, we have, um, this is half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, salt as per your taste, um, one and a half tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, and one tablespoon of uh, chili powder. And we have used... Um, pre-cooked canned um, chickpeas for this recipe. And usually um, when I cook it at home, we use uh, chana masala, which is a spice blend for um, chickpea curry, but it's not available at every store. So due to that, I'm using curry powder. You can, you can use this if you can find it, but otherwise curry powder will do um, just fine, okay? So I have used a medium pan here and one tablespoon of oil. So it's heated. We're gonna go ahead with our cumin seeds and cloves. And then add ginger and garlic and so ginger garlic paste and chili is going in. I'm gonna let it cook for like a minute or so. Okay, so to this mixture, we are going to add um, our onion and tomato paste. Okay, combine it well. And we are going to um, let this cook over medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so our um, onion and um, tomato paste is has turned golden brown now. And at this stage, we are going to add all our dry spices. And I'm gonna add two cups of water to just mix everything well and let it cook for another 10 minutes. And I have been cooking it over a medium uh, flame. And there it is. Perfect. So we're going to let it cook for about 10 minutes so that uh, the spices can blend in and everything. Okay. Okay. So our gravy is ready. I'm going to add uh, chickpeas into it. So I drained out all the water from the cans because I added water separately. So mix it well.
Perfect. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash uh, some of the chickpeas just so that they can soak all the spices and everything. Not. There we go. Don't match everything, then it's just going to, you can't even tell what it is then. But just go halfway through. If you don't have a masher, that's okay too. You can use it as it is. But you can see how it nicely blends along with the gravy there. Perfect. And... Um, and there you go. So this is ready. I'm just going to leave it on heat for about a minute or so so that it can just all combine and come together. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention in the ingredients is uh, lemon. So at this stage, I'm going to take half lemon and just squeeze it in. Okay, perfect, and then mix it again. You can turn off the heat at this point and just let it sit there. Perfect. Alrighty, and I'm gonna garnish it with uh, some cilantro. Perfect, your chickpea masala is ready. Okay, so our chickpea masala is ready. I am serving it with rice today, but you can also serve it with flatbread or naan bread. Um, so to cook rice, I have used one cup of rice and two cups of water. But if you're making more uh, bigger portion, just double that quantity. So um, I'm just gonna serve it in a plate here. Just a really nice restaurant look. Awesome. And I'm gonna garnish it with more cilantro. Perfect, there you have it, so enjoy. So do try this recipe at home and let us know how it turned out. Perfect, until next time, have a great day. Thank you.